Hello again, gamers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain. And I'm Alex. And today we're going to be talking about an expansion you can get for Sales of Glory. Sales of Glory is one of my favorite games. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the expansion for a third-rate ship of the line, um, the Spanish Fleet, mm. called the San Francisco de Asís. That's this one. And on the other side of the card, you get the San Juan Nepomuceno. I think I did that right. Well, show it to the camera so they so can... So this is the other side. So, they, so they, they can correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, I'm sure. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead and comment down below if you know a better way to pronounce, pronounce that. We may have, we don't want to, you know... We'll give you the opportunity to tell us that we're butchering it. Sure. But now this... this uh, You you jumped right into wanting to do the Spanish fleet when we were doing yeah. Sales of Glory. Yeah, I did. And this was one of the first ships you actually bought for your Spanish fleet. I think it, I bought two at first, and this was one of the first two, yeah. So. Yeah. So now this... Uh, the uh, the thing about this is this is a third rate ship of the line, and of course the starter set comes with two third rate ships of the line. That uh, let's show the other side of that so you can see oh. the cool Spanish flag on yeah, that. Sure, that looks really nice. So now it comes with the, the star set comes with two third rate ships of the line and two frigates, one each for the British and the French fleet. So we're mm -hmm. going to be comparing this a little bit to the third rate ships of the line that come in the starter set, so you can see what's different. So first yeah. off, we're going to show you some of these things that come with it. So obviously you get your ship. You get the double-sided card, which goes underneath your ship for both uh, both versions that this ship can represent. And both of those ships are, of course, on that card there. You get, it comes with a copy of the B Maneuver deck, mm -hmm. which, if you got the starter set, this is the one that the uh, third-rate ship of the line that the French have, both of their third-rate ships right. of the line, come with. And then it comes with the dashboard. It's it's pair of, it's double-sided, so mm -hmm. it's, it's got for both of versions there. Uh, right. The dashboard. So now, okay. So you've got now the um, the more powerful version is the San Francisco. San Francisco for sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this has got a hull rating of five, a veer of four, and according to the little card here, its crew is six hundred eighty four and has seventy cannon. So now the 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 burden of five is on par. It's the same yeah. as the... The two third rates that the, come in the starter The British set. and the French yeah. third rates. Well, right. all four, because each one can, can be two. Thing, but right. all of them are burden five. So all the third rates, and this one uh, is exactly the same as those. But it's a little less maneuverable. Yes, it is a veer of four for both versions of the, the mm. Spanish third rate. Um, whereas the uh, British have... Five. And the French have five and the as well. French have five as well. So this one it uses now it uses the B deck, which it itself is slightly less maneuverable than I believe it's the D deck that is the British is, counterpart. Yeah. Uh, the B deck, the French one, is slightly less maneuverable. It's very close, but it also with only a veer of four. Yeah, that kind of that really reduces how hard you can turn from one side to the other. Right. Um, uh, to compensate for that, it has uh, better armament. Than the British ships. Well, the 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 San Francisco one. The San Francisco does. Right, yes. Sorry, well, we'll get to that in a second. The so, San Francisco is the more powerful of the two variants. And as you can see here, the San Francisco has one box with a seven chip pull in the full broadside and four on the front and back. Now the French ships have two boxes with seven chip pulls, while the British the British only go up to a six. Yes. So this is like in in, in regard to firepower, and also uh, it has. Four goes up to four for musketry, which the French go up to four, but the British only go up to three. three right. So when, in, in regard to firepower with the San Francisco, it's somewhere between the two. It's not quite as good as the French ships, but it's better than the right. British ships. But in regard to maneuverability, it's like not quite as good as either of them. And maybe significantly less than the British. Sign yeah, the because British are the, much the, more the, maneuverable. The decks are much different. Now, the, the other version, though, the San Juan... This is weird. This one really interests yes. me. So the San Juan is much weaker in regard to firepower. The San Juan only gets one box with a six, which actually makes it significantly weaker in its firepower output than the British ships, which Correct. are already weaker than the French third-rate ships. So now, if you're just playing this for fun, this this would both of these ships. Uh, well, the one the one uh, the one ship the the. If you're just playing this for fun and you're just throwing a couple of ships out on the table, yeah. the San Juan would be significantly weaker than any of the ships in the starter set, while the San Francisco would be somewhere between the British and the French ships in a strange right. middle ground. Yes. But if you're playing this for points, where are the points at with this? So the San Francisco is a 139-point 
ship. Mm. Um, this compares to the uh, both of the British variants of the third rate ship of the line. The Defense and the Vanguard are both 135. Yes. So it's it by point value, the San Francisco is a better ship. Than and but it makes sense. Variant. It right. makes sense because it's it more is. powerful and it's almost it, it's not as maneuverable. But it, the, I think obviously it's the, close the, enough. Obviously, the power difference, the in the uh, firepower difference. More than compensates for its maneuverability uh, problems. Oh, I agree. Compared to the British, certainly in the point value, it, it reflects that. But at the end of the day, it's only four points more than a British third-rate ship in line. And, and now the French ships, though. So where are they? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut right. you off. So it so it out it outguns the British ships in the line for, for on the third rates for only four extra points. And all you do is lose a little bit of veer. A little that. bit of veer, right? So. Uh, that's why I think they're more directly comparable with the British ships in this 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 version is at least um, the French. However, their third rate ship in line, their variants are the uh, Aquilon and the Genereux. Mm. I may have done that better or worse than the Spanish. <laughs> no, it's not the Aquilon. It's the uh, is it the Aquilon? Yeah, the Aquilon and the Genereux. Oh, the Aquilon. Okay, and I'm they sorry. Are, they are the Aquilon is 144 points and the Genereux is 145. So, so this is a big discount off that. The San Francisco is a yeah. A five six point difference, depending. Mm. Um, if you flip it over, though, yes, that San Juan uh, Nepomucino is a massive discount, one hundred twenty four points. Now, obviously, it's it's much weaker, it's weaker, and it still has the same maneuverability issues that the San Francisco has, but it is a bargain. It's a crazy bargain. I mean, you get you could still get a, uh, you still have one chance before you get hit of getting six chip pulls on your enemy. Um, you're still a burden of five, so you still have a fair amount of, of damage you can soak up. Right. And you get a lot less points that, that I mean, at, at one, was it 124? 124 points. Versus the most expensive of the French ships is what? One, 144. 144. 20 point discount. And that's 20 points you can put into your other of your two ships that you're using. Right. So, the, so, across the board, this is a compromise ship. Uh, car, this expansion is a compromise ship because mm. it does. It's somewhere in between the French and the British. Well, for the, the, for the, for the better San, one. for the San Francisco. Yes, but the variants for both the British and the French in the third rates are, are very only, similar. Are either identical or one point difference. Yes, with the Spanish version, you get a bargain ship for the price of yeah one the one one twenty four. Yeah, yeah. You get you get two different. There's a there's a much because it's one twenty four to what is the other one thirty nine. That's a that's a that's a much yeah, larger right. point swing. Again, the yeah, your the the British one is identical in points, whereas the French one is one point difference. Right. This is a much bigger variety. I mean, you're yeah. buying a a ship that can represent two different ships. You want those two ships to be different. Yeah. So you have a variety. You have a, a wide range of possibilities with just this one expansion. So I think the the, uh, the expansions are all fairly similar in cost. They're within five, seven, eight dollars of each other. Mm. Um, Oh, yeah, I thought you were meaning point quest. No, 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 no. There's no. a lot of different. Uh, the purchase price. <laughs> yes. They're all, they're all, I mean, they're all one ship with one double-sided card. But this is a value because but, of the difference. Right. So, But you can use this to build out your variety of whatever your fleet you're building. This gives you an incredible amount of, of, uh, of uh, adaptability, which I think it is just in the gameplay world is much more valuable than just yeah. having one of the, it, you get the you get the British ship you have it's the same ship it really is the, I'm, the I'm one size of those cards. Saying, yeah. yeah so um so w now where are you at with this how many stars are you going to give you now I've never run this ship myself I've only fought against it mm -hmm. so uh with all that said the uh, San Francisco and the San Juan. San Juan. What are you going to give this expansion pack how many stars this expansion pack uh out of Ten. I'm giving this one a, a seven, seven and a half, because it's uh, it's a third rate ship, um, so it's a little slower, but not as powerful. So it's slower than a frigate, not as powerful as a first rate, obviously. So it's a compromise ship to begin with. Mm. But if you're going to be building a fleet that uses that uses size. these, and at 124 points, you can put a first rate and a third rate together and maybe fighting a British frigate in a first in a first rate. So it's versatile, but it's it is a compromise uh, expansion just because it doesn't do anything really well. It does a couple things moderately well. I'm going to give it an 8. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Now one, what you talked about I think impressed me a little more than it did you. The um in regard to the fact that this ship can be used 
to make two very, very different mm -hmm. ships. I think it's a fantastic way to do an expansion. And yes. I really like that. It makes it very good for, for fleet building, for the, the, the huger variety in points. Um, for sure. In addition, I'm only not going higher because of some of the limitations of the more powerful version. I would have liked the more powerful version to be just a touch more firepower, especially since it took that hit in the Veer rating. If yes. this had been a little bit, if this had had two boxes with sevens, I think this would have gone from an eight to an 8.5 or even a nine for me. But I'm I, where it is now, mm -hmm. just with the incredible amount of variety between the two, I think it's a really good ship. I, I think if, if you're collecting the Spanish fleet, it's a great ship to have. It's one of the first ones I bought because, because of that. It is, like I said, it's extremely versatile. It um, really is two different ships. It really is, too, yeah. And I, I, the only problem, if you'd have made that two sevens, two boxes, a seven, damn it! You would. There's be no reason to buy a British, the British. Fleet. Well, it, it would have been at that point. It would have been on par, power wise, with the French, but with less maneuverability in the French. Right. But I mean, you know, there. I know they are also trying to keep these somewhat related yeah. to the historical accuracy, though there right. is some dispute online as to how historically accurate the levels of firepower are. Sure. But as an expansion to the game, this is a great expansion. I think we both agree on that. We're Absolutely. Close. And and if you're starting. If you're, you have the, the base set and you want to move on and you want a Spanish ship, this is the one to get. If this is going to be the first purchase, you because it adds the, the versatility it adds to the, the base set mm. is it really, it, you're taking off. You know, if you wanted to mix and match uh, nationalities, that'd be fine. My, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah, I mean, at, at different points, uh, these ships fought for either side of the war. I mean, sure. the Spanish fought both against the, the French before they were conquered, and then some mm -hmm. of them uh, were on the French side at the Battle of uh, Trafalgar, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I'm feel free to correct me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not certain. I will not, I will not take an opinion. On that I'm not. I, don't I, know. I think because once they were conquered, uh, a lot of those ships were forced and in, uh, pressed into service on the French side. Right. Right. So uh, and and you do see that happen a lot. A lot of they used to like to rather than destroy them, capture ships as prizes and use them. So sure. yeah, you can you can mix. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with mixing uh, different countries as long as you mm -hmm. have a scenario where it's going to be acceptable. Sure. So there you have it. Uh, that is our review for the San Francisco de Assis and the San Juan Nepomucino. Nepomucino. I think you did that really good. Okay. And that is our review. That is where we're at. Uh, 7.5 and 8 stars respectively. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Let us know if you're playing a Spanish fleet in Sales of Glory. And if you enjoyed this review and you'd like to see us do more reviews like it, be sure to give it a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelt with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game, game on. on.